Hello everyone, this is your captain speaking, and I just wanted to thank you for choosing, insert name here, Airlines. Our in-flight movie is Spider-Man 3's dance scene on repeat, and our complimentary snack is a graham cracker. Like there is literally one graham cracker. You all have to fight over it. Hmm. Now, me personally, I think traveling isn't very fun. I don't like it. Now, don't get me wrong, I love actually being in new places and stuff like that. Even when I go on vacation over April Fools, my planned video ends up getting delayed for two weeks. But the actual process of going through airports and flying, I really can't stand it. When you arrive at an airport, you see, immediately things are stressful. The source recommendation is that you should show up to an airport between 3-5 to five hours before your flight, depending on the airport, so there's always a thought of a time crunch you're on in the back of your head. After you're checking your bags, though, things immediately get way worse. For example, the last time I was flying back from Florida, there was this monorail between the airport entrance and security check. I walked up to the monorail when, all of a sudden, an old lady at a desk near me yelled, Hey! You can't just walk past me without showing me a ticket! I told you to show me a ticket and you ignored me! Uh, no, you didn't. Yes, I did! I told you to come over here and show me the ticket, and you ignored me and kept walking because you probably had something better to do, and I'm gonna keep talking in the background with comedic effects while the camera zoom in the area of face. You see, if an employee is giving you a rough time, it's not like you can say something back to a rude employee since they could just kick you out of the airport. Now, would you look at that? You're stuck in a random state with no food, nowhere to sleep, little money, and no transportation. Yeah, good, good, good luck with that. Then you have to deal with going through security, which already isn't fun, but now there's this new system in the US where random people are pre-approved and don't even have to go through security at all. So if people are getting to skip security, why even is there all the security checks in the first place? And to top it off, you still haven't even gotten to your flight yet. Eventually, you find your gate, buy a ridiculously overpriced soda, and have to listen to some kid sitting behind you whine for the next 20 minutes, when finally, you board your flight and take a seat. For me personally, I usually end up sitting by myself, so whoever I get to sit next to is a toss-up. Most people I've sat next to haven't been all that bad, but every now and then, you get a bad deal. Once again, this story comes from our last flight back from Florida. Two kids that were certainly no older than the age of 11 were flying alone, which was already kinda weird, but one of the kids, for the entire flight, kept on moving around in their seat and bumping into me while I was trying to just listen to music. And did I mention this flight was nearly three hours long? Shrimps are pretty rich. Okay, it's well, I guess that's my thoughts on traveling in airplanes. I really don't enjoy it. Okay, I need a break from this. Eh, I mean, at least this isn't as bad as getting elbowed every three minutes. Huh. I guess my childhood fear was justified after all. Mom.